less boilerplate. There we go. Now we're going to just spread the boilerplate amongst the, the Angular community now uh, everywhere. But to answer your question, uh, the advantage comes more in the form of, uh, well, one for library authors, if you have a bunch of services that inject a lot of things and you want people to extend those classes, then you can inject those things internally uh, using the inject function and not have, if they extend it, they won't have to, you know, provide that long constructor of, uh, long constructor of being able to to be able to use the super inside the constructor. So that's one advantage of it. It also is more type safe if you're are using like tokens or uh, something like that. So if I went here and created a const new injection, oops, const token equals new injection token. And I say my token and I say, I want this to be a number. Uh, when I go and use that token uh, with constructor injection, you would have to do uh, something like inject or like capital inject token, token number. Uh, you'd have to do something like this. Uh, so that would give you the uh, still give you the same thing, but uh, we'll also have to do this like private token, token number. So you have to explicitly say what this is going to be. I could say this is string. It doesn't matter. It doesn't know that this is an ejection token of number. So if I go here, so let's delete that. If I say token is inject token. I probably should have gave it a name like my token. Uh, so we have inject token here and we can using the inject, we know that it's going to inject a number. So if I then for some reason say this should be a string, it says, uh, no, it's not uh, because it should be a number. So if you have something that you need to define a token for or some custom shape, then you can get, you can still have type safety where you are injecting that thing where you need to use it. So that's one of the advantages of constructor parameters versus using the inject uh, function. And I'm sure there are other use cases there also, but uh, that is one like concrete use case I can point a person to uh, that will help them see the difference between the two. Cool. So we have our actions and, and se second param does self optional. Yes, that's correct. I haven't actually used this, uh, pat pattern yet, but, um, I'm not sure what the, what the options are deprecating check flags, uh, flags. That's not the one I want to use inject options and optional. So I can mark this as optional, I believe. And then this will become number or null. So before you had to use some flags or if you were using constructor injection, you'd have to add yet another decorator to do that. So another good tip there. For the people who are watching this video later, uh, there's a like button on the video. You should hit that button, hit the subscribe also so that we can get more people to watch and more people involved in the community. So.